What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video I wanted to talk to you about timers from ClickMagic, uh, what they are, why you may want to use them, and why not just use the regular timers in your um, lead page creating software. So uh, timers are basically literally timers that you put generally to urge clients to buy. It, 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 it helps speed up that buying decision if you know that, hey, we have a special uh, limited time offer, you have five hours left to buy, okay? It, it creates that urgency, increases your chances of a sale. Um, so two things why I'd want to use this from ClickMagic. The first reason is you have more customization and the timers here, in my opinion, look cooler than the timers at least in Click Funnels. Um, so you have definitely more customization options and they look uh, cooler, okay? So the second thing is I, I'm creating this video really as a pre-video as like a little preparation for our next video where I'll be discussing magic bars, um, which are cool little bars like this you see here on Click Magic. And if I were to scroll up or down, this bar would stay at the top. And the cool thing about Click Bars is that um, even if the site is not mine, I can attach it there with a timer, okay? So let me just go over, I'll show you how to set up a timer, what it's gonna look like, and how you can plug it into your click funnels and then next video I'll show you how you can plug it into the click bars okay so in our previous video we've done this uh, pop-up so we went to content and uh, magic pop so we're going to do the exact same thing go to content click on timers no timer create a new timer so let's create a timer name test uh test timer so select whatever timer type you want. Evergreen has the same number of days and or time, whatever time it is for each user. So if I go into this website with a timer right now and I have one day, for example, and there's another person that comes in three days later, he will also have one day. So as long as it's the same person, they will have that same amount of time. That's evergreen. Then there's something called date-based. Um, which ends at a specific time. So if I come in today and another person comes in three days later, then that other person has three days less of this offer or promotion, whatever the timer is going for, okay? So I'm just gonna go with evergreen, doesn't matter, I'll say one day. Um, you have all these different timer styles you can play around with. The timer width is anywhere between 100 and 600 pixels. So definitely much more customizable than, for example, ClickFunnels, which we're using in our videos. Um, because there you can only make it small, medium, or large, okay? Here you can make it 400, and definitely the options here are much more uh, customizable. So for example, flip. So let's go over, I'm gonna click preview. Uh, please enter all your timer details. Let's see, what did we miss? Okay, on expiration, let's say do nothing for now. No. Uh, okay, let's maybe put zero, zero. Okay. So here, this is what flip black looks like. That's the type. Black means black background. If I make it white, it's gonna be white background, black letters, okay? Slide, here's what slide looks like. Again, you change it. So definitely something that's not there in ClickFunnels right now. Um, I'll, I'll show you what options are there. And there's this, crystal and black, okay? Whereas with um, Here, if I go to timers, say I go to countdown, as you can see here and click funnels, we only have one, two, three, okay? Uh, three different types. And the only difference between them is the color, okay? And once you do place that, uh, you can only make it, so you can align center, yes, but you can only uh, change the size, small, medium, large, okay? So click magic has more options there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, basically that's it. We went over all those. Uh, timer width, like I said, between 100 and 600 pixels. Let's make it 600, see what it looks like. Click preview, there you go. Looks pretty nice, in my opinion, okay? Uh, I, I like the way it looks. So you can d decide what you wanna show. You can show days, you can show hours, you can show minutes. If you have, for example, 48 hours, which is two days, and you say no, then that's going to show 48 hours. So if I click preview, Okay, so never mind. It it does not show the hours. So you, we we do need to make uh, to, to to make it show days in this case. So um, if if you have anything over a day, make sure you say show days because otherwise it looks like it does not show you the hours. I thought it would. I thought it would show forty eight hours. I guess not. Okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> 
Okay, so once you do that, uh, label color, that's basically the color of the letters uh, in here. So if I make this black, for example, the letters are black. If I make it white, you will not see it because it's white. Okay, on a white background, on a white background, okay? Um, so that's that. Uh, on expiration, do you want the timer to just be at zero, zero, zero? On expiration, do you want the timer to go away or do you want the timer to start over? Alternatively, you can also redirect it to another page. Okay, please make sure to go uh, that leads back to the same place. Okay, so we'll need to create some other page, so maybe like a landing, like 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 a separate landing page saying, "Hey, you missed your offer, but here is another offer." Something like that you can set up. Okay, so once you finish that, timers are pretty straightforward. We'll click create. Uh, oops. Okay, so let's not click redirect. Um, let's click create. Okay, there you go. So now if we preview, that's what it's going to look like. So. Uh, if we're going to post this into our magic bar, don't do anything. Wait until next video. I'll show you how to plug it in. It's really simple. Uh, if you are plugging into a website like ClickFunnels, we're going to click Get Code. And it uh, should give me a code. Let me close that. Okay, there you go. I'm going to copy it. I will go back here. And now let's compare. Let, let, let's, let's see which one looks better. So we do need to go to Custom JS. Ah, what's going on? Let me double click it. Keep, keeps giving me wrong stuff. All right. So I'm going to go open code editor. I'm literally going to paste it and I, I, I will write center here because I want it centered. If you want it centered, uh, keep it as it is. You can change the width here, uh, but I would not recommend it. I would just recommend changing everything there. Um, if, I mean, if you do change it here, just be careful that you don't change anything else. Right, so we'll click save, and unfortunately with custom JavaScript, it doesn't show you anything until you click save and preview, but once you do, it's it's there, okay? Yeah, so in, in, in this case, we would have to change it out a bit in um, click magic, okay? Because our width was different here, so we shouldn't, we shouldn't play around with the stuff here. So if I make it 608, though, it should be fine. So if you want to do any changes, change it on click magic and then come back here and put it in because um, it creates some sort of error. See, now it's fine. Um, the other way around, it created that little scroll window. So that's fine. So that's basically it. I personally like this timer much more, it's much more customizable. And the cool thing is when we put this on our click bar, which I'll show you in the next video. So that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.